Hey, what is going on guys? Monstep here and today new tutorial and I will show you how to make the leads I use on my Dopeness track. So if you want to hear the track, you can click on the link right now. And yeah, it's been a while I stopped making tutorial because I, I didn't know uh, on what tutorial should I, should I do. And so yeah, as always, I have an audio example for you. So anyway, yeah, let's continue the tutorial. So as you can see here, I used the silent one, but you don't really need uh, to use the same plugin because uh, I use the default preset. And you can you can uh, do this lead on every plugin you want. So for some people who want to use the silent one, all you need to do is just to load the initialized patch and turn on the portamento node like so and you can also do the this lead with the three oscillator so we just need one of those oscillators so turn the volume down like so and use this one and you need to activate the um, the glide effect so click on this icon and uh, enable the mono option here and turn up a little bit the slide knob like so and now if I uh, copy and paste this right here oh uh, sorry you can you can't see my piano roll uh, H too high and to have the glide um, effect you need to drag the last note like so and now if I add um, the 3x3 oscillator onto the the silent one uh, insert. I have the the, the same um, the same lead. So yeah, this is how you how how to make with another plugin. So now let's focus on the um, effects. So as you can see here, I have an a problem parametric EQ2 sorry so as always cut the bass frequencies and change the a little bit the the high band and you can pause the video if you want to take my settings so I think I just changed the first one the sixth and the seventh so now the next um, effect it's uh, reverb 2 and then I just uh, increase the ride I think uh, let me see uh, nope I didn't change it, anything on it oh yeah I just load the um, uh, the reverb 2 and I use the the dry options for the intro 
like paint ice tie. Like so. And the uh, next one. So yeah, of course you can pause the video and take my settings. Uh, Camel Crusher, Camel Crusher. So this one is free. Uh, and I take the British Clean preset. And that's all I think. Uh, the next one is the Chorus. So I think the, this one is a preset from the Chorus. So you should be able to find it easily. But yeah, I, uh, you can uh, also pause the video and copy my settings. Uh, the second one, uh, not the second, the next one, it's um, fruity filter. So I just turn down uh, the high pass knob. So it should be like that and just turn down this and create an automation clip of this knob of the cutoff. Cut off. And uh, this is what you get. Oops. No. So same for the build up. Um, next one, another reverb. So, what? Uh, why I have two um, reverbs? It's just because the first one, I use the first one for the intro. To the build up and when the drop hit i use the second one and the first one it's uh off as you can see here um oops so just because i have a lot of reverb on the first one and on the second one i have a, i increase the size of the reverb and to do these settings, you just all you need to do is add um, the reverb and reset this thing right here and increase the size, like so, and um, create an automation clip of the the volume knob, both of your reverb. So, and that's all for the leads. Um, and now for the for this one I use the lead the 8 bit lead I already show shown you uh, in my one of my tutorial so you can search on my channel and then I just uh, change the placement of the notes. To make some harmonies on it and it's the same, yeah, the same in certain with the same uh, effect. So I think it's done for this tutorial, uh, leave a like. Uh, if you want, of course, subscribe to my channel, um, share with your friends if you want to. Uh, if you have any question, let me know in the comment section. I will try to to uh, to help you if I can. And thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye.